Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new here, I am Prakriti and in today's video I am going to try some cheap makeup brushes from Amazon.in. These are the brushes that I recently bought and I did a full face using just these brushes and nothing else. So in this video, I am going to give you my first impression on these brushes from Amazon. I feel that this video is going to be helpful for beginners or if you're someone who doesn't want to invest a lot of money in makeup brushes because these are very very cheap. I got this eye brush set for rupees 400 and the face brush brush set for about 300. I have not washed these brushes even once so I cannot say whether they shed or not. So that will be updated in the description box once I wash these brushes. If you want to see how I created this look using these super affordable brushes from Amazon, please keep on watching. Okay so the first set that I have over here which is this one. It is a set of 10 makeup brushes and uh, this is from a brand called Generic. I have never heard of this brand to be honest and uh, this is a foundation eyeshadow makeup brush set in the color pink and this is a set of 10. So this is the first set that I have. I actually bought it for my face. This also has got some eye brushes. So the second set that I have over here, it's from Electromania and this is a set of 12 professional makeup brushes. I don't know why it says over here that these are foundation blending brush. I mean, these are eye brushes. Why would you mention them as foundation blending brushes? These are quite light, you guys, and they are not very sturdy. I feel that these are very, very light and also the size. It's small compared to your normal eyeshadow brush. So yes, but it's very, very cheap. I got the whole set for rupees 3.99. Actually, it's not that cheap. But yes, these are the brushes. There are 12 brushes inside. And so we are going to use these two sets first i'm gonna get rid of the plastic because it's making a lot of noise all right so this is a lot of plastic packaging there are hair coming out of the brushes you can see these hairs these are just coming out there is a lot of shedding and also the brushes are not very very tight i think it's gonna come off and it's also kind of rotating and making this horrible sound so yes maybe i need some fabric to set this in place so there are five face brushes in this set so these are the five face brushes in this set they do not have any name or any instruction i mean it's not that i got these brushes for free so obviously i paid some money so at least the finishing should have been better all of the brushes are very very soft none of them are dense i mean when you apply foundation your foundation brush should be a little bit dense to get that perfect even application and also the pigmentation but none of these are dense so i think i'm just gonna try dabbing motion instead of like swiping the foundation so let's see what happens i'm just going to use this brush for my under eyes the brush is kind of poking me like when i go like this it is kind of poking me I use the brush just for the sake of using it because there are so many brushes and I want to use most of them in this video. For foundation, I'm going to use a full coverage foundation today. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in 312. Alright you guys, so I'm going to use this brush. I don't know why, um, it just says foundation brush to me. There are no instructions, not on the website, not on packaging, there is nothing. So I'm just going to use this brush and I'm going to blend in this foundation. I'm going in with like a dabbing motion and then lightly swiping the product, just dabbing and swiping at the same time. It's not horrible, it's okay. There are no brush strokes, so it's fine. It's taking a little bit more effort than a normal brush, but I feel that it's okay. Alright, so if you swipe the foundation, you do get brush strokes. So, I'd say that you don't swipe the foundation, instead work it into your skin. Like just kind of dab it in, instead of swiping it. It is taking a bit more time than a normal brush to blend all of it out. But honestly, it's not leaving any brush stroke and my foundation looks pretty flawless. So I'm quite happy with it. Next, we are going to do the concealer and for that we are going to use another brush. I think we should use one of those bigger eyeshadow brushes because obviously I'm not going to do eyeshadow with these. They are so huge. I just placed some concealer as you can see and now I'm going to blend it out with this brush. So I'm going to start from here. 
and again I'm not like swiping the product because I don't want to. It did blend that well. The brush that I used with my foundation was quite soft but this one it's poking. Let's go ahead and set it with one of these brushes otherwise it's going to crease like hell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of their eyeshadow brushes, eyeshadow brushes for my under eyes. Alright so just going to pack the powder. This was not that bad. It looks good. Don't worry, I'm gonna zoom you in in the end and then you will be able to see that how it looks like. Okay you guys, so today we are going to do our face first and then only we'll hop onto the eyes. So next I think I'm gonna contour my face. God help me please because I don't have a proper brush for contouring but I think this angled brush should work. What do you think? So for powder contouring, I'm going to use this shade from the Nykaa Contour and Conquer Contouring and Highlighting Duo. Instead of swiping it, I know that's not gonna do anything. It's gonna make it look patchy. I'm just gonna dab it in. Now I'm swiping it with a very very light hand because the hair in the brushes are very very dense so I don't think that applying a lot of pressure is gonna help. So once the contour is in place, I'm gonna place my blush and for that I'm using this Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush Duo in Malibu Barbie and I am picking it up on another brush just like this. It's not very dense to be used as a foundation brush but it's also not something that can be used as a blush brush because I feel that if you're using something for the blush, it should be very very light and less dense so that you don't end up with a patchy blush. So next I'm going to place my highlight and for that I'm going to use another one of their eyeshadow brushes. At least it's giving me like the pigmentation that I want for my highlight. I like my highlight to be a little bit more on the blinding side so at least it's giving me that. So I just applied my eyeshadow primer on this side and this brush is so good for applying an eyeshadow primer you guys. It's packing in the primer flawlessly. Actually it's not a primer, it's an eyeshadow base. So this is the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone. This actually has a hair inside which is gross. But I'm gonna try and take it out. Whatever, let's leave it there. And I'm just gonna pat it on my eyelids. I have already done my eyebrows. The eyebrush kit had an eyebrow brush. But actually I didn't like it, it was too thick for my liking. So today I'm going back to my Tropical Carnival eyeshadow palette, which means we are going to use colors. First of all, I'm gonna grab this purple shade for my crease. I'm just gonna grab the purple shade on this brush over here. These brushes are really good, they don't have like extra hair coming out of them. Now I'm just gonna place the purple into my crease. The best technique to use color, colored eyeshadow is that first just go in with dabbing motion. You just don't want to blend this out. The application is not patchy at all. And especially if a brush works with purple shades, it's good. Okay, because sometimes it can get really difficult to blend out a purple shade. Now I'm just going to use this brush. It looks like a blending brush because it's very soft. I'm just going to blend this out. I'm being very light and gentle. And you can see it's blending really nicely. It will blend really nicely, you guys. Just wait and watch. I'm going in very small circular motions. I'm not going like windshield wiper motions because that will be really big for this brush because it has got a very small handle to diffuse it in even further i'm going to use a pink shade which will be this one from here i'm 
Once I'm satisfied with the blend, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this shade from here. This is a metallic shade. This is a metallic purple shade and I'm using it with my fingers. Just gonna pack it on my eyelid. Now if you want, you can just leave it over here, but I'd like to add a little bit more pop to this look. And for that, I'm going to use this shade from here. This kind of adds that extra metallic sheen. We have to use something for our inner corner. So for that, I am going to use this shade from here. I know there is nothing inside because I broke this palette. So yes, there is a little bit on the sides if you see carefully. I'm just going to use that. For my lower lash line, I'm using the purple matte purple shade again on another one of their brushes. And again, this one is also very soft. It's not too soft, so it's just perfect for my lower lash line. I just applied some mascara, curled my eyelashes and applied some mascara. I didn't apply any false eyelashes, that's just it. I also applied a little bit of coal in my waterline. So now I'm just gonna do my lips, so that will be our final step. And for that I'm going to use the Nykaa Matte Luxe Lipstick in the shade Artisanal Coffee. And I am going to apply it onto my lips. I'm just gonna add some concealer in the center to create ombre lips. So this is not how I wanted my hair to look. It looks very flat and I hate this, but just because my bangs are growing, I had to pin them down. Let's get to the brushes. Number one, I have this eye brush set. I have a few good things to say about this brush set. You can see the eye look that I created with this. It looks really good, you guys, for a brush set for rupees 3.99. I mean, it looks really good well it's not just about the brush set it's also a little bit about your skills so please keep that in mind too overall these brushes are good i'd say they are good for beginners especially when you don't want to invest in really expensive makeup brushes or even expensive makeup brushes you know you can just go with these brushes especially if you have started playing with makeup you can just grab these with that being said i am going to move on to the next brush set which was the face brush set actually i liked the foundation application I didn't like the application of the concealer I love the application of the contour because you can see it did blend into my skin so you know it was powder contour it did go a little bit patchy at first but ultimately it just blended out I made all of these brushes work somehow doesn't mean that they are gonna work out for your face too so yeah I'm not pretty much impressed by these brushes because I feel that they cannot be used in a lot of way you know you can just apply cream products or foundation maybe so yeah that's why i'm not pretty much impressed now next in the same set you get these brushes these are eye brushes i assume that no one's eye is big enough to blend with these brushes and the finishing of these brushes is not good because they have extra hair coming out of them so that concludes this video you guys i mean i love this makeup look that i created over here the purple eyeshadow is popping and all but i had to put a lot of work into it i could have just completed this look in what almost 45 minutes but it took me almost one and a half hour with these brushes so yes i would not recommend the face brush set that i tried but the eye brushes i'd say are good that's it for the review and this is my full face using just makeup brushes from amazon.in i'm gonna go and take a few pictures for instagram maybe i get some good pictures if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe do not forget to hit that notification bell and i'll see you in the next video bye